Okay, right now I have to clear something up. Um, everybody seems to be under the impression that I think magnets only attract things, and so only things that are that are attracted to a magnet are affected by magnet. Um, no, th I've never said that. Um, I've said that everything is affected. Energy moves matter. It can attract it or it can repulse it. There's clockwise and counterclockwise. Clockwise winds matter in. Counterclockwise winds matter out. So. Everybody needs to understand, I haven't said that everything's magnetic because it's attracted to a magnet. I've said that uh, it can be attracted or repulsed. So uh, here's another video um, showing broccoli and plastic being uh, affected by magnetism. Thanks a lot. I do hope that's cleared up a few things for a few people. Okay, we have broccoli. This doesn't react very well or much. Hey look, magnets move broccoli. So that get get bigger? Of course you do. So it's a little more difficult because it's not as bushy. But about one mil away. Now we are two, three. So broccoli's magnetic. What else have I got? Now here's one thing I can say. When oils are extracted. Um, they contain no iron so I don't believe it's going to work on this Let's turn it sideways so I can get a full thing there. so what we can say here is that all metals are attracted and it will appear that water and all plants are repulsed and plants grow upwards we could also say that the bulge in the water uh, that the moon is supposedly calling uh, um, could actually be electromagnetism pushing water upwards because, well, water's um, repulsed by magnetism, isn't it? So, personally, I think the moon's been held out there like a superconductor on a nitrogen rail so that it doesn't rotate, and that magnetism is just holding it like a super levitation device with a superconductor and uh, liquid nitrogen because it's so cold in space. So, yeah, that bulge, I've said it on video before, that's water being pushed up. Hey! And now I've proven it with a magnet. I'm also working on a magnet to show this but I need a laser. Anyway, back to the cheese. Stay there cheese. So I'm going to use it on something that maybe won't react. Mainly because oils are the only things that don't have iron in them uh, because the, the process has been taken apart. All right. Wow! Cheese is really Affected by magnetism. What the heck? So what do you know? Cheese is magnetic. So the thing about oil, um, well, that was just it didn't contain iron. Huh. But then again, nor does I say. How funny is that? So cheese reacts to a magnetic field. Isn't that funny? So here's where it's plain that I really don't know anything about positive and negative charges, but that's what's happening. The magnet is either positive or negative against iron or water or plants or air. It's all to do with that. I'm trying to explain this to people. I've seen how everything works. God didn't sit there and go, that's paramagnetic, that's diamagnetic, that's paralytic. You know, he didn't say those kind of things to me. I was just shown energy a double helix that runs through everything and I knew it was electricity and electromagnetism by the way that I was shown it but God never said this is this this is that I've had to stumble along and somebody once laughed at me because I said I knew how everything worked then I had to go and learn science and they laughed and it's like no 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 it's because I have to now tell you that you don't know anything about science 
because it, then, then we'll have to figure out what those words are and then go no so I've already said since the beginning uh, energy attracts or repulses so it's repulsing uh, food and water and ice if somebody can tell me why that would be great because we all know it attracts metals iron and that's in everything and water is in everything so of course every single thing on this planet is affected by energy and that's what I'm on about energy flow how it works how it goes around things how it goes through things so no I don't know all the terms I've had to learn quantum physics physics astrophysics geology biology geography geology astrogeology or plasma physics you name it I've had to go and learn that because I can because I know how it works but I don't know the names so if somebody can tell me the difference between a repulsion, repulsion and attraction on why you think it's doing it um, we can try and apply that to this but it's plainly obvious that magnets repel or uh, attract it attracts metals uh, and anything with iron on it that's kind of keeping it on the ground but then it's also repulsing things like water and plant material which is what forcing it upwards so you tell me I just know it's all going on and if I drew every single field line that there was uh, in a magnetic field you'd be left with just like black lines it would just be black like the screen you're looking at because there's so much going on but it's always vortex it's a halo wave that's it the uh, sign of God the sign of the horns which is what an Ouroboros field is vortex up two horns there's your Ouroboros field a halo wave all right back to the video now that I've explained my position a little better I know everything I just don't know what it's called Oh, got to stop it so it doesn't hit the side. Oh, you sucker. Oh, you're touching the side now. So this is out of view, unfortunately, of you lot. You can see it moving, but now it's locked to the side. So as we can see, cheese works. So I was a little bit surprised there, but then I thought, hang on, I just read it didn't have iron in it. And so now you know, magnetic fields don't need iron. Uh, I don't know what else we get. Let's try plastic. We all know, we all know that pla this is just a plastic pen top. We all know that plastic isn't magnetic. We all know that. Let's see if it's true. Let's just go sideways, otherwise the magnets will look like I'm pushing it or something. No, no, but wait, wait, come on. You'll see that moving back, right? So magnets affect. This is coming this way. Let's see if it will stop. You can go back the other way. And there it goes. Once the inertia had gone, now we'll do this thing because it's just rotating. And then rotate it again. Okay, we'll try and push it now. Ooh. And then because I've just pushed it, let's see if we can we. And now I've pushed it back again. So, haha. <laughs> Where's my Nobel Prize, Dan? I just showed that plastic is affected by magnetism. All right, where's my bloody Nobel Prize? Oh, I haven't got a mantelpiece big enough for them.
What does that look like? Plastic is affected at about a millimetre. Let's push it around. Oh, it's up to the... Here we are. So this back end swinging around. Let's push it back. Let's twist this. And hit the other side. I'm just trying to make sure that you can see that there is a gap. Whenever I bring the magnet in, it affects There we go, that's a full movement going. Thank you very much. Plastic is affected by magnetism and electricity. Thanks a lot. My name is Lee, I follow the Christ, and uh, yeah, there we go people. Um, thanks a lot. Bye. Okay, so everything I've said about magnetism uh, attracting or repulsing matter, impulsion or expulsion uh, due to energy in or energy out, um, magnets can repulse or attract everything um, on the planet as far as I'm concerned. I just showed broccoli. I'm pretty sure it would do the same with leaves because they're all containing water. Uh, which is repelled, which is, you know, um, I just think it's uh, really good that I've just proven that. So, um, thanks a lot. Everything on the planet and the universe is affected by magnetism. Uh, I'm going to do a satire video about gravity. I've uh, been running that conversation through my head for the last couple of days. Uh, so that's going to be quite amusing when I do that. And um, winners of my competition, uh, anybody who put down their name and their uh, choice is going to get what they asked for. Everybody wins. I'm letting you all have exactly what you asked for. So uh, I've written them all down. They're all dated. Um, so uh, I'll be messaging you guys when I get a bit of free time. Uh, obviously, I'm caught up in all this kind of right now. Um, and I'll make a video of me going through all the work, pulling it all out. So everybody wins, because I'm that type of guy. All right, thanks very much. See you on the next one. Bye.